Gentlemen, we're ready for you. Good afternoon. Please state your name for the camera. Stanley Makita. Uh, Rodney Strongbow. Warren Applebaum. Great. So, as you may or may not know, my offices are representing the family of a girl who was in attendance at your party this week and claims that her drink was spiked at your residence, causing her to fall down a flight of stairs. The sole purpose of these depositions is to get the facts straight on exactly what happened. So, I would like your account of the story as you remember it. It was hardly a party. I think using the, the word party is an exaggeration. Uh, it was more like... An, an intimate, intimate gathering. gathering. There was about a dozen of us. If I had a guess, probably 10, 15 people. Everyone came in by 8 p.m. and was out by 11 p.m. How many people does the report say were there? Between 75 and 100. Psh! Hell no! I mean, maybe within the first 30 minutes of me texting people, but all day we had like six, 700 people. I'm talking a rager, bro. We were partying from the ass crack of dawn game day all the way to like five, six in the morning. Was there drinking at this get together? Minimal, but it's inevitable. We were just coming off a really big game, so we were celebrating. No, we kept it very contained and only served our close friends who we, who we knew we're of age. Mr. Applebaum, was there drinking involved? <laughs> you ever heard of a party at state after a big win when drinking wasn't involved? The lawyers were supposed to be smart. Again, since it was such a small party, I personally sat by the door and made sure no random people came in. Stan kept a close eye on the door in the front lawn to make sure that no one that we didn't know didn't bother us or our, our small group of friends. There was a line from our front door and it went through four other lawns. Two alleyways, I heard it even spilled onto campus next to Woodworth Hall. I had a couple freshmen at the door taking 10 bucks from the guys unless they had four girls with them. Regardless of whether or not you gentlemen have broken any other laws, my client is seeking compensation as she claims to have ingested narcotics unknowingly put in her drink, causing her to lose memory. There was absolutely no drug use on the premises whatsoever. No, no, no we don't even keep Advil in, in, the, in the house. I mean, that's how anti-pill we are. Can I have some water? Do I look like the kind of guy that needs to drug girls, bro? You have another glass? Hey, who's your client anyway? I cannot disclose. Is it Marissa Hawkins? Once again, I can- Totally something that bitch would do. Yo, tell her what's up, though. All right, gentlemen, that's all the time we have for today. I appreciate your time and cooperation. Anything we could do to help? Of course, sir. Mr. Applebaum, we had someone come forward as an alibi for you that provided footage from that evening, and so this video deposition will be destroyed. What? Th that's impossible, okay? I was a thousand percent there. Dude, they wouldn't have been able to throw this party without me. They need me. Who was it that said I wasn't there? It's probably some fucking jealous loser. It was the dean of the biology department. Something about an overnight interview you conducted about the courtship rituals of the, uh... Nova Scotian hippocampus? Well, it's the male seahorse that carries the baby, so... It's fascinating. Did Stan and Rod know I wasn't there? <laughs> 